get your answers tonight. My name's Stephen Jarrah. Are you saying Stevie Hogwarts like from Harry Potter? Just stop with the stuff, mate. It's Stephen Jarrah. I'm not allowed to bring sticks in the airport, Mr. Hogwarts. I don't know who you are, but you're gonna let us on that flight, or I'm gonna kill you with my skills. That's just fantastic. Now we're gonna miss our flight to America. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. Bien, it got me! Fucking Christ, mate. So you wanna buy packs but you got no coins And you wanna pack bail but you hate FIFA points And you wanna beat your brother with a super fly team But your coin total zero so it's basically a dream You FIFA is the answer to your question Cheap and reliable, the best on the net kid CWB for 8% off Stack them coins and load your squad up Testing, testing, one, two, three What's up, boys, and welcome to the classic European striker Steven Gerrard FSL July 21st, 2014 I made this prediction uh, His ratings would be 76 pace Which is 3 more than he has right now and i was pretty much wrong in every statistical category we are here today to look at classic european hero steven freaking gerard it's not 100 percent clear what tournament he got it in he could have got it for the 2012 euro where he was uh, nominated and made it into the uefa team of the tournament or it could be the 2005 champions league miracle miracle of istanbul where liverpool were down three nil and gerard was the first to score which brought it uh ended up eventually bringing it back to three three and i believe they won it on pens. I'm not 100% sure, but one of the greatest comebacks in Liverpool history, in Champions League history, really. December 18th, 2014, I did the first Striker Steven Gerrard episode, so that was nearly two years ago. Has been one of the channel favorites for the longest time. I actually wore the same kit that I'm wearing right now. I haven't washed it since. I don't wear it that often, but this was a gift given to me, my baits. Uh, it actually has my uh, has my name and my number, Podolski's number on the back, number 20. And uh, yeah, one of my favorite kits that I have. Uh, I'm not a Liverpool supporter, but uh, Steven even Gerard, even if you're, you know, even if you're an Everton fan, it doesn't matter, you know, even if you're a Milan fan from that 2005 Champions League defeat, you just can't not but respect this guy. One of the classiest, classiest players to have ever played the game and just an overall legend. Recently, he's coming in the news. The English FA is looking at a bunch of old players, uh, a bunch of retired players and current players to kind of feel out who they should have as the next coach. I don't think uh, Steven Gerrard is near being the uh, the manager or the head coach of the national team. I think he's still on his A license. He has a long way to go before he can actually be eligible for that, if I am not mistaken. But uh, most likely, I think he probably ends his playing career this year or maybe one more year at uh, for the LA Galaxy and then possibly goes back to Liverpool. Um, I know he's had conversations with Jurgen Klopp and uh, it sure wouldn't be difficult for him to find some sort of managerial maybe not at the top but you know starting somewhere as an assistant role maybe like a gigs manchester united type thing but uh yeah we will see absolute crazy looking card 95 shot power 87 long shots 90 freaking strength hey guys an 88 overall steven gerrard card are you kidding me we've thrown him into this crazy alternate history english squad with some old and new players obviously lampard and gerrard don't play for the national team anymore and then we've got a mix of the new players that really really stood out vardy was a really, really solid player for England. Disappeared a couple times, but by and large was really, really impactful when he came on. We've got Milner, who is one of those players, just a really, really solid midfielder. Probably should have made it into the uh, into the starting 11, but then, you know, they went other ways. They went they went with a younger team. We've got Dyer, who was pretty solid. We've got Rooney, who was good for what he did. And then we've got Baines, Smalling, Cahill, Walker, and then Joe Hart. Give that fucking ball! What did you say? Give that fucking ball! By ball, do you mean Butlin? Because that's who we're putting in keeper. Joe Hart, a great keeper, but we are inserting Butlin just because his team of the season card is beast and everyone loves him. Um, uh, Joe Hart just really had that one gaffe. You know, there were a couple couple lapses in concentration, but namely that one against Iceland where it really should have been not, not an easy save, but it should have been a save. Most keepers probably make that save. But anyway, we've got the classic European heroes. We've got Gerard. We've got freaking Lamps. And one of the main discussions right now is who should have gotten a higher rating. Some people think that Gerard should have got a higher rating. Uh, some people agree that Lampard uh, should get it and you know the, I think the main discussion is Gerard was on a Liverpool team that didn't have amazing surrounding pieces for that card and then Lampard has always been on a Premier League team that is stacked so well not stacked but better if you compare it to what Gerard was dealing with at Liverpool but anyway that's neither here nor there let me know in the comment section below if you guys have used one of these cards what you think about this squad builder I think it looks absolutely freaking sweet wait why is the team called blood sausage if you guys do enjoy the episode hit that like button if you guys want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter those links can be found in the description below Alan Pardew back in England chilling on a freaking houseboat all right boys here we go match number one Stevie G's coming up against a bunch of his MLS teammates outside of outside of Brooks. He's got Johnson both in the Bundesliga. But uh, yeah, coming up against a bunch of MLS players. Tim Howard. I, does he have a card other than Everton? He went to an MLS side. I forgot which one it is. But anyway, center link field. Let's freaking do this.
Steve, you have 83 finishing. How do you not put that away? Stevie, it's your moment! Come on, boys, 1-0! Steven Gerrard, let's go, boys! Striker Gerrard, with a Rooney celebrating over him. Probably one of the slowest body feints I've ever seen, but pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't have great agility, uh, doesn't have great agility or balance. But decent acceleration with his uh, classic hero card. He looks he even looks a little older, even though that's his MLS form this year. Come on, boys, let's go. No, no way, bro. That? Who the hell was that? Who the hell was it on D that just let him slip in like that? What a freaking run from Steven Gerrard, boys. And he bodies off Opara. Blast one past Timmy Howard. What a way to go into half. Nine shots, four on target. Dominating possession. Come on. Stevie's having one of those inspired performances where he just wants to get a hat trick. He needs that hat trick, boys. He needs to walk off the pitch with the ball. Marks. Oh! That was it. Oh, shit. Lamps? We gotta get to Stevie G. Oh my god, 90 strength right there, come on. We're going into freaking extra time. Oh, Vards! Vards 3-2! The future of England right there! Hugging it out with Lambs, come on boys! We got this 96 minutes, surely that has to be the game winner. None of them have the, uh, the four star skill move, but all you need sometimes is a little bit of ball roll and a little bit of luck. Jamie Vardy party puts it through. Stevie G's got some freaking guns, son. Stevie G stepped up in uh, regular time. Vardy party steps up in extra. Is that one goal going to be the difference? Let's see. One more half of extra time. Now for that bitch. For that bitch. Oh my god. Now for that bitch. Scored the I scored one of the craziest goals I've ever scored in FIFA. All right, I love you. Bye. <laughs> what was that goal? I wasn't even paying attention. Stevie G. Take a bow, son. Holy smokes, what a long shot. Boring James Milner. Not so boring anymore, boys. 5-2. We just freaking took off an extra time. Wow! Rooney, just a tactical genius. Milner, and sometimes that's all you need. Stevie G was there for the layoff, but Milner knew the entire time he was freaking bearing it. And there you have it, boys. A victory of epic proportions. 9.5 for Stevie G and a freaking hat trick. Near identical. 14 shots, 8 on target. This was actually a pair, supposedly a very, very even match. All right, boys, here we go. And kind of emotional because it's a Serie A. Mostly, uh, mostly Italian side. He's got Florenzi. He's got De Siglio, I think that's De Siglio. He's got, uh, he's got Chies uh, Chiellini, he's got Buffon. Really solid looking Italian side. Come on. Oh, ho, ho, one nil. A tramp goal, but a beautiful send from Gerard to the other legend, Lampard. And freaking Vardy's not gonna miss that. to Stevie G! Seven minutes in and we're up 2-0 right now, boys. We're just absolutely running around it. What a beautiful little, like, chip through ball. And then Stevie G with the first touch blast. No question about it. His Higgy's just gonna make those all day. Come on, 
Oh, and he puts it in! The finesse shot of dreams from distance! I guess not the most difficult goal to score, but not every player in the game can put that away. That's for sure. Dude, Stevie's got some techers. The squad is freaking pumped. Three shots, two goals for Stevie G. Six shots, six on target, 49% possession, dominating right now. This guy's badge is actually, the club badge is actually really, really sick. It's KS 1966. Wait, what? Dude. Wow. That was a stupid, stupid goal to concede. No way. No way, bro! No freaking way, bro! How's he gonna give it for- Okay. Now, no more messing around! Let's go! Look how efficient! We have 100% shot accuracy! Four free from Marks, come on! Wait, what, what do I have? Is this guy rage quitting? Dude, why would you rage quit? There's plenty of time left. All right, boys, there you have it. 13 shots, 12 on target, 9.7 for Varge. Just a crazy squad in the sense that, like, I scored early, and then I have to wait for extra time for the remaining guys to just really kick in and freaking take it to another level. Vardy and Gerard have been the stars of the episode so far. Lampard has been the unsung hero. And the defense, and Butlin in particular, has been incredible. That's the Striker Steven Gerrard episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, tschüss, later, adieu. And then Snyder's just nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found.